recording. Do I wave? Hey everyone, so those cookies you just saw are from my mom bakery in New York City before all of this happened. As you can see, I'm at home social distancing like a lot of you are, but despite everything going on, we still wanted to profile some of our favorite restaurants and give you the kind of stories that you're used to from us and check in on the restaurant community and what they're going through during this really strange time. Which brings us back to Maman, the first place that we caught up with. Their cookies are a big deal. They've been ranked high above other cookie spots in the city, not only by Oprah and other sources, including us, but also by their loyal customers. I'm not always crossing the path of Maman, but when I am, you know I'm getting a cookie. <laughs> I brought them across country with me to California to give to a family as a gift, so big fan. <laughs> it's really four things that make them stand out. For one, the chocolate. They're famous for using chocolate wafers instead of chips. So I asked my mom's co-owner, Elisa Marshall, over Skype about it. Why do you use wafers? I find that it gives bigger chunks of chocolate and it helps to avoid during the baking process or during the mixing process kind of melting throughout the dough, it really helps to retain the shape and create that chunk of chocolate in the cookie as opposed to chips, which can sometimes go a little unnoticed. Then come the whole salted almonds, walnuts, and macadamia nuts. Why do you use these three as opposed to other nuts? And how come you use them whole rather than like shavings or crushed or? The macadamia nut is a whole round nut that we use, which has a really nice crunch and doesn't tend to lose its, sh its texture as much when baked down. Whereas the uh, walnuts tend to soften among the dough with the butter and sugar and kind of get that nicer, um, softer crunch and texture. And then our almonds as well also kind of add to that texture and don't lose their shape when baked. You can see them when you break the cookie open, the big chunks of nuts and really melted spots of chocolate. And when you taste them, they're just as salty as they are sweet. We do put quite a high quantity of salt in it. It's a little bit different than typical sea salt. It is less sodium, more of a mineral-based salt, and tends to just complement the dark chocolate that we use very nicely. Beyond flavor, Maman's cookies are big enough to fill a small plate with a soft center and a crisp outer edge. How do you know when the cookie is ready and at that perfect te texture? And how do you achieve that outer, that crunchy outer edge? Is that something in the way you roll it? Is it the refrigeration? I think it's a, it's a combination. I think definitely starting the cookies in, in ball shapes as opposed to flattening them um, helps to raise, retain the shape and allow it to melt down naturally with the heat on the pan. Of course, coming from a colder temperature, it doesn't melt as quickly in the oven. So it really kind of keeps its shape in the ball form, which helps to retain the gooiness on the inside and the underbaked once you get to the middle and then it allows the outside to melt down and crisp up a little more. It's a really good balance of the crispy edges and the soft in the middle. And, you know, it has these giant chunks of chocolate and nuts. Uh, so it's kind of like a landscape. <laughs> it is like all these big pieces you can break off. When they're busy, Maman can sell 2,000 cookies a week across its 10 locations. But with restaurants shutting down across the country in response to the coronavirus pandemic, Maman has been no exception. At first, the cafe closed nine of its shops, leaving just its Brooklyn location open for pickup and delivery orders only. The situation's been really hard for us, as it has for everybody. Um, I think it, it hit us hard, primarily due to our staff, and um, we had to have the unfortunate situation of, of temporarily laying off almost 100 employees of ours. So. We put together a Mama staff family fund and we are doing what we can to try and support them as best as possible and raise as much funds as possible that we're going to be distributing out to all of our team. We had one employee contact us wanting to contribute a week's worth of their salary to the employee fund to help out her other fellow employee. Along with donations, part of the sales from Amon's new cookie dough to go kits were going into that fund too. We you know, wanted to do what we could to help everybody out and, and liquidate everything before it went bad. And we started packaging and selling our cookie dough. So we are selling our cookie dough in uh, rolls that make 12 cookies. And the price for that is $30. And for every sale of that, $5 is going towards our staff fund. I currently have uh, Trader Joe's cookie chocolate chip cookies frozen in my freezer and I'm like slowly breaking off pieces but you know let's get real it's nowhere near my mom's nutty chocolate chip cookies so I have thought like should I buy this dough 
and bring it back, like go every two weeks or so. <laughs> but even with pickup and delivery sales, the future of Maman's last open shop is unknown. And we're just gonna really play it day by day to be totally transparent. We are not uh, making any long-term plans right now. And you know, we're open today, hopefully be open to tomorrow and we'll go from there. You know, it's affecting so many and it's just spreading so quickly. So, you know, it's our cookie dough is not worth a life. As of March 30th, while in the process of making this video, Maman made the sad decision to close their last location and end delivery. So right now we have decided to close down our last open location, which was our Greenpoint location, unfortunately, um, for two reasons. I think we, uh, you know, our staff were obviously getting a little bit um, frightened in terms of being in such social environments and being with people. And, and uh, we had it open on a voluntary basis. And I think for the rest of the community and for our staff as well, I think it's just better for everyone to stay at home. There's a lot of great companies out there doing delivery. And I think, you know, as much as we are an essential business, I really want to limit it and get everyone to stay home as much as possible. I did want to ask, are you planning on reopening or are you just going to wait till this kind of all blows mm -hmm. over? Yeah, I mean, we are planning on reopening, of course, when it all blows over right now in terms of an end date, we have no idea. Uh, but definitely, um, once it's safe again to reopen, we'll, we'll be there. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. You know. I can put my pajamas back on now? Yeah, totally. I'm in Thank sweatpants you. on the bottom, so it's fine. I put on my good sweater. Just <laughs> it's a very nice sweater.